Yes, ma'am. All right, all right. We are back. Wait. Matthew McCutty? <laughs> no, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right. I'm going to use it, though. I'm going to use it. Yeah. I was thinking, what's it? When he said that, I was thinking Kevin Hart, though. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. We are back. Now, that was, that was crazy. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. That might have been the Matthew McCutty. Yeah, that was the Matthew McCutty. They're talking about it. He's talking about running for... I mean, why not? Section. Why not? Bro? It's a joke now, man. Just yeah, to be a uh, politician. All right. You ever, you ever heard? Of, you ever watched a congressional hearing, bro? Nah. These boys don't be talking about nothing, nothing? Bro. bro. This is a waste of time, yeah, though. It's, it's, it's a joke, bro. bro. The whole thing's a joke. Our money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Our money. Oh, I need looking at the camera. Is that where I'm? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm here, yeah. bro. Are you good now? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, let's get it, bro. All right. You ready, you ready for this? <laughs> Hello, audience. <laughs> CouchPotatoGM.com is the website. Couch Potato General Manager is the YouTube channel. You know it because you are on it. Uh, we are here to discuss... Football? Football. The, the, the Texans. The, the Houston Texans. And, and things just continue to kind of snowball and, and just get worse and worse and worse. But we want to kind of talk about their offseason. What's the plan? Um, and, and I need Texan fan yes, or, or football fan. I prefer whoever, Texan fan because you, you know your team better than anybody. Sure. But, but if you're a football fan, you click but on the video. They might be too close um, to it, They might be. Yeah, you might be. Um, might get burned, you know, a little too close to the sun. But um, I, I want you to go down in the comment section. I just want you to, to, to you know, you, you, can, you can voice your, your concerns. Um, we're here to listen, man. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're here to, to provide it's whatever sounding we board can. out here, yeah, man. man. We'll, and we'll it's respond. Cathartic. It. Right, it's cathartic, man. You don't want to keep that here. all bottled up. We're we, we, we out here to mean? keep you healthy. Get that um, off your chest, man. Because I, I don't know what the plan is there. I, I don't know, you know, and we can go all the way back to Deshaun Watson, you know, before you know the, the stuff that's going on now with him. But we can go all the way back to, you know, the 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 report initially was, hey. I want to be involved in, you know, the process of getting a coach and a GM. I'm your franchise player. And, and there isn't a coach or, 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 or a GM or even an owner that has the, the gravitas, mm. okay, the cojones, to, huevos. The, the huevos to, to say, no, nah, I'm running the show. Mm. I'm doing it. You know, this ain't B B Bill Belichick, right? Sure, sure. Right? Or, or, or you know, you know, uh, dumb enough because because you know he, he still lives in 1992 and three jerry jones as the owner right right you know what i mean it, it's 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 it, right right <laughs> Emmett and them boys it, it's 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 mcnair it's 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 owner mcnair mm -hmm. okay Younger and McNair. and there's no coach no gm you hire a consulting firm to help you hire people mm -hmm. and then you don't follow you've paid those this, this, this consulting firm to do it mm -hmm. And then you go and you hire who you want to hire. So I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what the hell did you hire them for? Look at it, 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 it. And then you don't consult your quarterback. Well, word is, I'm sorry, word is, is we've, we've, uh, we, we called him, but he didn't pick up the phone. So we hired the guy anyway. No discussion with your franchise quarterback, okay? You already traded his best weapon off the team with, with, the, with the whole uh, uh, Bill O'Brien fiasco. And it's like, okay, we need to make amends. We need to, to bring it back to the table. We need to make sure that he's a part of the process because because Bill O'Brien pretty much kind of was burning. As he was crossing the bridge, he's burning it as he's crossing it. And we need to mend that fence and, and get everything back together. And this was a way to do it. If you make a mistake with, with your best employee or or with your loved one, yep. Are you, aren't you going to do what you have to do to kind of yeah. mend that up and, and get your relationship back to what you want it to be so you can be successful within sure. that relationship? No, the Texas said, nah, bruh. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, you, you made me think you were going to do it, and then you said, yeah, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyways. Yeah. I, I just, I, I don't know, again, what the plan is with this football team and just looking at what they did in free agency, kind of running down everything. And I know that their, their lack of, um, what draft we call capital. draft capital. You lost out on uh, JJ Watt, who left, who was pissed, by the way. Um, in terms of you know, I think it was a, it was either the last game of the season or a couple of games before the end of the season. Had a had a, a real good speech talking about guys just kind of quit, mm. and it, it's just People like pay good money to come see 
you play and yeah. And and and, and, and I, you have a quarterback who had a an MVP season, mm-hmm. but you don't know it because your team won how many games this year? Well, you know what I mean? Only enough to get you the third overall pick. <laughs> well, a pick that you don't have. Yes. <laughs> You know, on this particular channel, we've talked about Bob, mm-hmm. Bill O'Brien, quite a bit, and th- there are there are obviously some some residual impact in yeah. terms of what the Texans are dealing with now as it pertains to, to Bill O'Brien. But right. I want to talk about what you said earlier. You were talking about the consulting firm that they hired in to help them make a decision in terms of how they're going to kind of restructure things and who they're going to put in place to make the football decision. Right. Right. I've I've done consulting before i did it for a municipality right Mm -hmm. and the municipality paid the 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 consulting firm that i was working for at the time good money right for us to come in do an audit um um you know give them you know offer our expertise give them a a fresh set of eyes an objective third party looking at based on based on our collective experience here's here are some options here's some things that you should consider um, in terms of just making sure that you have an understanding of what's going on in your organization, where there's waste, where there's opportunity to, to, to perhaps enhance um, things, whether it be technology, whatever the case may be, right? We go through this process. It's, it's, a, it's a four to five month process, right. Right? right? This contract is almost half a year. And you know what that municipality did with that information? All that information that we cobbled together and, and we, we did all of the, the statistical research and, and provided facts, just, just pure facts, not conjecture, not, not speculation, but facts, right? We juxtapose that against all of our analysis. They did nothing with that information. They did nothing with it. They paid us. We went about our way. Right. But they did nothing with that information. And, and it's just a smaller microcosm of what oh, you're talking right. about, right? Or, right? or rather, the Houston Texans situation is a microcosm of what that municipality right. did. It was on Twitter while back i don't remember all the details I, I, i'm sure houston texas fans they have a better understanding better grasp of the whole situation but andre johnson was talking about you know if you know since person x has been in the building mm. this organization has been for lack of a better term shit you, you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. we've had problems because of the nepotism because of of it, it's not it hasn't been a meritocracy you have person x right in the owner's ear. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, making the owner's drinks. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. That person tends to have influence where, where they may not necessarily be qualified right. to be given that type of instruction or whatever the case may be or, or, or counsel, for example. So I, I do not know what to make of this. The one thing they had going for them was Deshaun Watson. The one thing. Under contract, mind you. Where, where, how do you fix this? How, how do you fix it? You, you, I mean, you, you, you got the listen, keys. You, I'm listen, giving you the keys you, to the organization. You, how do you fix it? I mean, I'm I'm blowing out the staff. I mean, listen, you know, we was looking. You at just the hired st- a new staff. They out. Okay. Um, huh? You you bring in Lovey Smith as your defensive coordinator now. CPG, I'm Drew. Y'all know if you don't know, I'm a Bucks fan, and I've gone through the Lovey Smith. I've gone through the good Lovey Smith mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when he was a defensive coordinator for the Bucks, and I've gone through the bad Lovey Smith head when he was coach. the head coach. It's terrible. Okay, um, and he went to Illinois. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Yeah. Okay. Illinois. Yeah. Illinois. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 yeah you know. <laughs> um, it, it was terrible. Mm-hmm. You hired a coach, David Cully. He brings in Lovey Smith, who's just been terrible. And I, and I think, to be honest with you, it's been terrible. It, it you. They were better off with Romeo. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. You know, and, and I know that's 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 Nick Casario. That's his hire, right? Mm-hmm. But this this it goes all the way back to the consulting firm. It it goes all the way back to that. But I'm blowing everybody out. I, I'm talking to Jason Watson. I'm sitting him down. I say, I understand that you want to leave, but listen, I'm running this show. I got the pictures um, of the owner. Mm-hmm. He he is it's, it's, it's a wrap. He's, he's there's, there's, there's nothing he can do. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. I got this. What do you want to do? The Texans have a lot. Uh, have what? A lot of teams want, which is a, a quarterback that is successful and has and, and and the crazy part is is he he's got all those stats and did all this stuff, bro, with trash, bro. And, and I know Brandon Cooks, he had a good season. Mm. I like to call him concussion case, but 
there wasn't. Will Fuller not, missed half the season. Like just, he, he just, didn't just, have his full complement of weapons. He he was listen, he was incredible this past season. When, incredible. When, when you when you think about that 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 division, you got the the, the Colts mm-hmm. stacked. You, you had the Titans. I, I would say, and because of the way they've structured their team in terms, of, I'm just talking offensively. They're stacked because of the way they, oh, yeah. they run the offense. Yeah. And then you have the Jaguars, who to me. I think they're actually stacked. They're just a quarterback short and maybe an offensive of, lineman or two. Being really competitive. Short. Correct. Yeah. When you look at the Texans, what are, what are we talking about? What are we talking about in terms of weapons and helping your quarterback? But he's able to do the stuff that he did this year. It's, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts, bro. So, again, I say you have a quarterback, you have a franchise quarterback, and you don't put what's needed around him so he can be successful. As, as bad as the defense was last year, the man was out there handling business. Kept him in games. But to your point, the rest of the team just simply wasn't good enough. The coaching wasn't good enough. Uh, you know, what, what is really amazing to me is how frequently you get it wrong. Bruh. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, just like when we talk about you know, law of averages, right? right? You right. got to get it right, right sometimes. And I guess the exception was the fact that you got Deshaun Watson. Now, of course... There was a period of time when this Texans team was drafting incredibly well. Right. And they were developing their talent. And they were retaining said talent. And Rick then, Smith. of course, they dropped down. Exactly. Mm-hmm. As much as people dislike that individual. Right. Then they dropped Bill O'Brien. And they made him the czar of everything. Gave him full control. No, 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 no. He made himself. He made himself right. the czar. Which, right. which I can't even get my head wrapped right. around. And it just started to deteriorate. It just right. started to crumble all around and now the bedrock the foundation of the home yeah like there's water underneath there's cracks in it there's fissures in it like like you might not be able to salvage this you might need to bulldoze this thing at this point you understand what i'm saying so hard reset so you you mentioned what you would do to try to get deshaun deshaun has some other issues going on now right all right that appear to be centered around where he resides which is houston right he may just say you know what i want out I, I don't want to be in in this area anymore. I don't want to play and, and, in Texas. And, and I want listen. I want completely out. It, what do you do then? It, you you, you got to move them, bro. You, you got and, and again, this is you know with the stuff that's going on now with the massage pot. This is just talking as if that doesn't exist at the at, sure. at this moment. Sure, you got to move them. And, yeah. and, and and the the when do you move them? Draft day. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know, free agency's over. I mean, we not well, over, well, but I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. First wave, the, 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 first wave yeah, is over. First wave is over. Mm-hmm. I mean, where are we moving? Are we talking to the? We talking about the Bears? We talking about Carolina? Carolina, Carolina. has pushed the hardest I mean, for let, him. Let, let's 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 see what the what what they're offering in terms of asset assets, and then we can go from there. But and to me, I guess the closer you get to the draft, I guess maybe there's a little bit more leverage that you're losing. Um, so I mean, it'd probably be as soon as possible. Let me ask a question. Is that is the um, Watson tool conversation that, that's off the table now? I'm already talking about that earlier. I, I, I honestly, I, I don't know where the Watson to uh, you know, where those conversations ultimately landed. I know that there was some, some definitely some conversation. They're trying to recoup, I guess, right. some of their draft capital could, could that you, they gave up. But if I'm, if bro, I'm, could you imagine Tua playing for the Texans, bro? What would that look like, bro? Like, 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 no, seriously, but it would be great for Deshaun Watson. That'd be fantastic, bro. Because them boys. Dolphins, you could probably you could probably pencil the boys in for the Super Bowl, bro. But, bro, because Tua's not the type of player that's gonna. And I've said this, it, it, you know, when we talked him coming out, bro. I don't know if he's the type of player that can, you know, bring a bad team like he can bring them to the next level, bro. Sure. Like he, to me, he's the type of player where put, put the pieces around him, bro, and and you might see lights, camera, action. And that's exactly what Miami is doing. That's yes. exactly yes. what they're doing. So, so yes, obviously Watson is a superior quarterback. If that if that's something that that is a legitimate possibility, you have to explore it. There's right. no question about it. But Miami has also put themselves in a position to be able to put that talent <laughs> around Tua. Right. You know what I'm saying? Miami's in a great position if they make the move, or or if that move's not, you know, because of course it takes two. Two. If that right. if that move isn't an actual possibility, then absolutely, uh, Miami's operating from a position of power, power. when power. when it would come to that particular conversation. The, 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 the bedrock of the, the situation as it pertains to the Houston Texans, free agency, offseason, trades, draft, whatever the case may be, is first of all, they don't have the draft capital. All right. All right. 
the one thing that they have going for them, they pissed him off. Right. All right? right. Then he has some personal issues that may have be related, you know, tangentially to, yeah. to, to friends of, of, of Senior right. McNair. Like, it, it, it's such a web of, of <laughs> it's a mess, crap, yeah, bro. right, that so. I, don't, I don't know how, what to make of it. One of the things that I think is important at any time, bro, is for you to take control and address the things that you can actually control, right? right? You could control who you hired, right. who you interviewed, right. right? Right. Okay? So of all the different candidates, I don't know if you heard Stephen Smith talk about this head coach. And and his yeah. his 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 uh what it was it Ray Charles Stevie Wonder yeah, his, his, their ability to evaluate talent right you don't even realize this guy's a Pro Bowler you got to know his name and you treat him like he's you need a receiver on the roster for the Pro Bowl he's walking over there and you tell him this is the receivers like you don't know that's Steve Smith you don't know he's a receiver you don't know that's you don't you don't know who that is I, but he's hired as a head coach like, that's that's crazy bro but but but. I said it before and I'll say it again, bro. People get jobs that, you know... And, and therein lies the problem. Yeah. Th- therein lies the problem. Th- they're, they're, like I said, whatever it may be, whether it's nepotism, whether it's, it's you know, um, the brown... I don't, I don't know what to call it exactly. And like I said, Houston Texans fans probably have a better grasp of all of the inner workings right. as it pertains to this. But until... until well, obviously, if you don't put an end to that, you're going to continue to have issues. Mm-hmm. But as far as you're talking about personnel, the, the the Deshaun Watson domino has to fall one way or the other. Right. It has to. The longer you delay that, right. the, the longer it's going to take for you to actually rebuild this thing. Because make no mistake, you're not going to be able to turn this thing around, regardless of Watson no, being in the building or not. Not, not. not in terms of the position that you put yourself in. Despite the moves, the transactions that they're making, the free agent signings, the fact that they have added some quality football players. Right. Not stars, right. but quality football players to round game. out this organization. But, but it's, all, it's all in neutral yeah. as far as I'm concerned <laughs> because your trigger man, who is terrific, right. one of the best in the league, yep. is, is in the wind. He's completely in the wind right now. And, and you have done nothing. You've had every opportunity to, but you've done nothing to mitigate that. In fact... You've just compounded it over time, whether it be going back as far as to, to trading away his top receiving threat mm-hmm. to to the handling of, of the coaching hiring process right. this offseason. And you're walking around delusions of grandeur. Maybe maybe they, they know what they're going to do, but you get on the mic. The GM gets on the mic and says, you know, you're asked about Deshaun Watson. He says he wants to get traded, and you're saying, no, he's going to be here. Well, no, he's saying he doesn't want to be there. So what what is it? What, what are we doing? Like... What's really going on, bro? What's, what's happening behind like, the scenes? Like, 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 uh, cut, there, cut, there, cut there, the bullshit. Right. Like, are there what, good what, faith what efforts doing? being made? Like, come on now. And, 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 and I'm pretty sure you've had ample opportunity to trade him before this, the mess came out. Yes. And now now where are yes. you at? Now where are you stuck? Absolutely. Because you you because you because you too damn you're proud? You, you, because you're posturing. Yeah. You've been posturing this we whole play, time. We're playing a game of chicken. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Let me see if you're going to blink okay, first. Because you know what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Let's go ahead. It, it, it ain't gonna be this, bro. It's this is this is Texans, and they going and the Cliffs over there, bro. They, that's it, bro. That's it. Texans fans. Just, just, just cut the tape, man. No, no, no outro. Just cut the tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll Tyrod Taylor gonna run the show, bro. But yeah, we already know Tyra, what that sh- we know what that shit looks like, bro. Yeah. If you don't know what Tyrod Taylor looks yeah, like, bro, yeah, go yeah. put the tape on, bro. Like you get four games. All right, four games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, Tyrod gonna, gonna be two, two, one and three. Tyrod gonna be eleven for eighteen. <laughs> Seventy nine yards. Seventy nine yards. <laughs> one pick. 